Neighbors say they're used to days when the water looks too dirty to use, but what's rubbing them the wrong way is how the city is looking to invest its money. All right. I think one of the best indicators of the issue that we're having here is toilet tank water. Beth Burnett has lived in Mitchellville for 16 years, but daily tasks involving turning to bottled water or even showering at a gym in a different town. Since 2005, we've had a massive issue with our water from the color to the taste. Um, we've literally never had a single drink out of our faucet before. She says the cost of filters and water bottles is about $100 per month. Absolutely. Councilman Nicholas Murrow has lived in Mitchellville his entire life. He says the tinted water issue has been going on as long as he can remember. Our old lines are cast iron and have been in the ground for over 60 years. They get a lot of sediment built up, rust deposits. And I think that as we increase flushing, which we're starting this week of the mains, it'll reduce a lot of that sediment. He says a third of the mains have been replaced, but the entire project won't be finished until 2032. The outrage some residents have right now is that the city is holding a vote next week whether to invest in a new fire station. With the current problems with our water system, um, we need to. We feel that we need to have our infrastructure repaired before we move on to a, another very expensive project. Now, city officials say the water is tested daily, and those results show it is safe to drink, even if it doesn't look so good.